Hello and welcome to the Studio Brutal video. Here I'm going to show you how I made this techno sequence you can hear in the background. So yeah, um, it's basically uh, made with a new SQ sequencer and uh, Ableton operator. Uh, I've done this as a rack by the way, and the rack, you can get the rack for free in the description below. So yeah, go and get that. And, um, and yeah, and then you can follow along. And yeah, please while you're there, please like and subscribe. It really helps the channel and all that stuff. Leave us a comment if you can. Cheers. So yeah, um, yeah, let's get into it basically. I've just got Ableton 12. I update quite late on these things because I make presets and I have to make stuff that, that works for everyone. Uh, but if you've got Ableton 12 and you haven't got the sequencer, it's a free update. So yeah, go and, go and download it. Um, it's brilliant, to be honest. So yeah, basically this patch is, um, I'll solo it. It is this sequencer here and operator. There's other stuff as well. I'll, I'll go through that. Um, but, the, but the bulk of it is, is you've got the sequencer and I've changed it. Um, I hope you can see that the length is quite small. Um, there's a lot in the sequencer, so there's a lot of stuff that's quite small on it. Um, but that's a good thing, I guess. You can just I've zoomed in here. Um, but yeah, so yeah, the length is five on everything. So you get this. I don't want 16 steps. I want like a rolling uh, techno pattern. Anything less than 16 is good, or eight. Anything less than eight, really. Um, and you get these um, these cool rolling patterns. Um, and it's really good to have a sequencer like this, just pumping out modulation, and then just tweak the effects of that modulation afterwards. Um, so basically what I've done is, uh, pitch is, uh, I've just changed a couple of notes really, everything's a root note. Um, and then I've changed the length of the notes, and I'm alternating, uh, but the velocity, um, the velocities are different, and that's important. The velocities are really good because that's how you can control other parameters like you would in the modular synth, like, uh, like wiring them in and anything and so this this velocity row is going to control anything uh, which has velocity as modulation in operator um, so like I've set up velocity um, so there's two there's two velocity controls on the filter on the filter envelope and on the filter frequency so the filters jumping about all over the place throughout the sequence and then I've set this patch up so it's an FM sequence it's three detuned sort of analog if you want oscillators no FM but then D does FM to all of them you can see that in the routing here and then there's there's lots there's two velocity settings um, for this as well which I've set up which is you can hear that if I tweak it there it's, it, it's, um, it's how much the sequence will affect uh, the FM and then here as well um, the os uh, oscillator that's how much that's the pitch um, of uh, the velocity will affect the pitch of the oscillator so separate so you can affect the pitch of the FM separately so you get mad and then so yeah so velocity is doing that if I you can hear that it's opening the filter more and then doing more FM but then what I've done is I've taken these two steps just randomly so it's alternating this one and this one steps two and four and I've set it here <clears throat> so if I turn this dial sorry that's not the right one you can see that it's raising those two up so you can so you can change a lot of modulation just by and automate that throughout the, the, so you can automate it like that And it just keeps it just keeps it's like like you would on if you had a like a cool what's it called I don't know called SQ1 <clears throat> which is uh, you know like a, a, a hardware sequencer uh, you can tweak the sequencer and tweak the amount in modulation it's like it's, it's really good for techno especially software <clears throat> to have like a hardware sequencer like that just pumping out modulation and you'll be able to tweak it so you can tweak it like that. And then this is, uh, I've mapped this, this is the amount, um, that's uh, the frequency to velocity, that's how much this uh, modulation will be affected, uh, will affect the FM amount. And then, yeah, I'll just talk you through the racks now, and you've got filter frequency, which is really good for a sequence like this. It just makes really good techno, techno sequences, basically. And then I've got resonance. really scream um, so yeah the, the operator patch um, it's got time on it that's a, that's a really good thing to, uh, to, to have on a rack on the uh, rack macros 
So it's basically, it's this one, it will open and close every um, envelope in operator. So if you pull it down, so it's really good to like, um, to, uh, to automate, to bring in a sound. So you just open up the filter and, and everything. If you've got pitch envelopes, and stuff, it will open them up as well. Um, and then I've got um, the effects, which I'll show you through on the bottom row. So I've got Raw, which is a really good distortion from um, the Ableton, from Ableton 12. Um, it's really good. I'm just using it basically here. Um, but the, um, the settings, uh, I've set it up so uh, the main distortion amount here is tweaked to the macro and the feedback. The feedback's really nice. Uh, so if you push the distortion, it's because it doesn't, it doesn't take away, it doesn't kill the whole sequence, it doesn't muddy it all. It's just a really nice distortion. And then the feedback, it just makes it nasty. Um, so you can automate all these things. Um, and then reverb, decay, and mix, which you can sort of just use to build. And then drum bus. I've put drum bus at the end just to distort everything at the end to make it even nastier, but so it distorts after the reverb. So if you use them together, it just becomes noise, and you can just obviously then just slam it back in. Um, so that is basically the basics of the patch. The, um, the, uh, the, oh yeah, the operator patch is basically three saw waves, so you get like a switch FM off. It's like a, sort of buzzing saw wave techno sequence you can see they're all basically um, this is in key but the other two are just off a bit this one is a is down a bit and and uh, B is up a bit so you just it's just a fat detuned sound like you would make not on an FM synth on a mono synth on a you know like on an analog synth and then you've got the add in that sort of EVM uh, metallic uh, FM to it, so you've got the best of both worlds, like a fat to tune three analog uh, oscillator synth with FM, um, and yeah, and then you've got the sequence of just pumping out modulation, and as long as you map velocity to everything, uh, and you, do, you can get crazy with it. Um, and like I said, I, I map the, I map them, so you can just tweak that, and the sequence just sort of evolves, basically. Um, so yeah, that is the patch. Uh, I'll give that away in the, in the description below. Um, I'm probably going to do loads more, loads more uh, with the sequencer. There's a really good IDM sequencer um, with like ratchets and, and uh, random stuff in it. I'll do one with that. And I'll also um, do, do a video on RAW. I'll just show you RAW. This is the group processing. Um, you've probably seen, probably you've had Ableton 12 for ages, but um, I've just got it and it's, it's, it's awesome. Let me just... Um, um, like with raw you can click the uh the arrow like you can in wavetable and just open it up and this one is on for drum processing and bass processing uh or group processing like this is you can have a little bit you can see i've got a mount 10 percent 10 percent on the mids and then on the highs so it's only a bit distorted but then absolutely rinsing the highs just uh Um, so you can, so it can sound really distorted, but actually it's not. It's just um, it's only the highs that's distorted. So you're not losing any any like punch of the drums, but you can still get them really distorted. Um, yeah, I'll do a separate video on raw. Um, I won't get into it now, but it's it's, a, it's an excellent distortion. And you can add, you can drive it as it goes in as well, and EQ the drive, so you can um, pick out the high end if you want. Uh, it's, it's brilliant. But yeah, I'll go through that. And so I've used that on a on the 909 kick, and that's what the drums are here on a 909 kit. Um, yeah, that's basically just my own 909 pack, I'll link to it below. And then yeah, I just cut, I basically, for the bass, I copied the sequence, um, the main sequence, with the same um, sequencer, and I just swapped out operator for a sub bass patch, uh, which is just, a, you can just, it's just basically a sine wave, I think, or a couple of sine waves. Um, this is a preset I made for the dub techno pack, I'll link it below. But yeah, basically it's just, um, it's just a sine wave, yeah. Um, so it's pumping out the same if I if I solo them. So if I bring it in, you probably won't notice it unless you've got headphones on. But yeah, it's just uh, it's just whacking the same it's, it's the same sequence, 
um, just pumping the sub bass under it, like you would in, in hardware. You just link the sequencer to um, to uh, sub bass or something. Um, so yeah, that's the patch. Um, I'll keep the rack away below, like I said, in the description below. So yeah, go and get that. And yeah, you can expect quite a few more of these videos with Ableton 12. Um, so yeah, please like and subscribe. And um, yeah, have a good day. Good luck with your music making. Take care. Goodbye.